Rick, what's the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript? JavaScript is the wild west of programming languages, Morty. You can write whatever you want, however you want, and it'll probably run until it doesn't. It's dynamically typed, which means variables can change type like mood swings, and the interpreter just shrugs and moves on. What about TypeScript? TypeScript is JavaScript with a babysitter. It adds static types, so your code gets checked before it runs. You declare what types variables should be, and if you try to assign a string to a number, it screams at you during compile time instead of letting your app crash when a user does something stupid. So it just prevents bugs? Yeah, it helps prevent stupid bugs, especially in big code bases where keeping track of data types is like herding cats. TypeScript acts like a code cop, making sure everything is what you said it was. And if it's not, it breaks your build and tells you to fix your mess. Doesn't that slow things down? It adds an extra step, compilation, because TypeScript has to turn into JavaScript before the browser can use it. But that cost is worth it if you'd rather catch mistakes while coding instead of hunting bugs in production while someone's screaming that the site is broken. So TypeScript is better? It's more structured, more scalable, and a lot more annoying if you hate rules. JavaScript is great for small projects or quick prototypes. TypeScript is great when your app starts to grow and your code base turns into spaghetti. It keeps things sane, or at least less insane. What if I don't know types or how to write them? TypeScript doesn't force you to be perfect. It can infer types from context, so you don't have to annotate every line like a control freak. But the more explicit you are, the more safety you get and the fewer nights you spend debugging mystery errors at 2 a.m. And before you swipe, leave a like and a follow, or I'm going to send you to another dimension.